humble butts. Welcome to Monkey Up's Zoo Minutes. Today, we're brushing shoulders with our tallest neighbor at the Jersey Zoo, the giraffe. Now these fellas here, they can go up to 18 feet high and they weigh as much as a pickup truck. How do I know how much a pickup truck weighs? I don't, but that's gotta be like 3,000 pounds. One too many banana pancakes if you know what I mean. <laughs> You'd think an animal that tall would be out there shooting hoops all day, but actually, they can't really jump. Now check this out. You know how each of your fingerprints, they're all different? Well, a giraffe's spots, they're all different too. They're all unique. Now, unlike you and I who appreciate a good snooze, giraffes, they only sleep between 10 minutes and two hours a day. And when they do sleep, check this out. They do it standing up. I'm just tired thinking about it. I'm gonna take a little nap. Join us next time though on Monkey Up's Zoo Minutes. And don't forget to check out our new I'm so happy to see you guys back here on Zoo Minutes. Today we're talking about our cousins, gorillas. Did you know that you are actually related to gorillas? Humans and gorillas both belong to a group of animals called primates. Unlike us though, they don't talk. They slap their chests and use other sounds instead. They also walk using their legs and knuckles. They live in groups called a band that usually have between six and 12 gorillas. Each of them can eat over 50 pounds of food per day. Oh, oh they'd give Monty a run for his money in the banana eating department for sure. Contrary to what you might think about gorillas, they're actually calm and even shy sometimes. They're very focused on the family. And moms are very attached to the kids and love to snuggle. Aww. Well, that's it, folks. See you next time. And don't forget to check out our new movie, Monkey Up! Hello again, my goofy friends. I'm happy to see you back on Monkey Up's Zoo Minutes. Hold on to your hats as we discuss a super cool, super stealth-like animal. Psych! We're talking pandas. And pandas, they're not very fast. And they don't have killer instincts like, like sharks, or lions, or, or, or bees. Ow. But they love chomping on bamboo and sleeping, though. That's pretty cool. Pandas, they aren't just a sack of potatoes, though. They can climb up trees and swim across rivers and lakes in their hometown. Well, it's Chinatown. No, country of China. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm pretty smart. Pandas, they give birth to super tiny babies. I'm talking miniature here. Their babies only weigh three to four ounces. That's like the size of a small apple or a tennis ball. Remember how I said pandas love chomping on bamboo? Well, it turns out that the bamboo forest, they're getting smaller and smaller, making it harder for them to survive. Right now, they're considered in danger. Can you imagine a world without pandas? I can't, they're super cute. The good thing though, is that people, they're taking notice and they're creating panda sanctuaries, helping to keep these awesome bears alive. That's it for Zoom Minutes today, but don't forget to check out our new movie, Monkey Up. We're gonna have a roaring good time! Talking about lions. Lions live in the Sahara Desert in Africa. They travel in groups of about 15 called prides. Yeesh! Oh, that's a lot of siblings. I got enough on my hands with the boys. Oh, yeah! The female lions, we call them lionesses. They hunt for grub while the dudes stay behind to protect the rest of the pride. Speaking of hunting, lions are pretty fierce meat eaters. They hunt zebras, deer, rhinos, and even hippos. Oh no! <laughs> you don't want to mess with a lion. They can run up to 50 miles per hour and leap almost 36 feet. There's no way me or my bros could ever outrun them. Lions are not all teeth and claws though. They cuddle too, rubbing up against each other as a way of bonding. Uh, well that's it folks. 
See you next time, and don't forget to check out our new movie. What's up, my friends? Welcome to Monkey Up Zoo Minutes. Now today, we're gonna be talking about our best stretch little buddies, penguins. Now most of these birds, they got black feathers on their backs and white feathers on their fronts, which makes them look like they're wearing a spiffy tuxedo. Tough competition for our bro Monty, huh? You are so not getting an invite to my Oscar party. These guys may be rocking the latest in fashion, but did you know they can't actually fly? What kind of bird is that? They're super good at swimming though, and they can swim 22 miles per hour. Now Mort, he swims zero miles per hour. Whoa, whoa, hold the phone. Did you know that penguins actually shed their feathers? Rather than shedding here and there like some of our canine friends, penguins spend two to three weeks on land shedding all their feathers right down to their skivvies. Just like Monty, penguins like to spend a lot of time with their families, and they like to spend a lot of time and energy raising their kids. They even shack up for life. Aren't they cute? Well guys, there's a banana split calling my name, so I got a jet. But join us next time on Zoom in. Why, hello, friends. Come in, come in, take a seat. So, you want to write your own story, huh? Well, you've come to the right place. After all, I am a famous writer, actor, model, life coach. Okay, you get the gist. Anyways, let's talk about how to tell a great story. I'm going to call this the art of storytelling. There are three things you need to have in order to tell a good story. Number one, a beginning. Number two, a middle. And number three, a monkey. Did I say monkey? <laughs> Silly me. What I meant to say was end. You have to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. And today, we're gonna talk about the first step, the beginning. This is where we meet the main character, also known as the hero. Take me, for example. Jeez. Sometimes I even I forget how handsome I am. <laughs> hey, who authorized that photo? Okay, okay, you caught me. Every hero's gotta start out somewhere, and at the beginning of a story, the hero is usually pretty unhappy. I wanna do some real acting. You hear me? Real acting! At this stage, the hero discovers that they have a new purpose, something they need to accomplish, a goal. No, not that kind of goal, silly. The kind that's inside of you. See, for me, I wanted to become a famous actor, Academy Award winning actor, the greatest actor that ever, okay, you get my point. Anyways, once I knew this was my destiny, I had a mission, but we'll talk about that next time. For now, let's recap. At the beginning of the story, you've gotta introduce your hero and give him or her a goal. What do they want? Join me next time for part two of The Art of Storytelling, where we'll talk about what happens in the middle of a good story. You won't want to miss it. Until then, when they call action, I go bananas. Well, this is it, friends. The grand finale of The Art of Storytelling. Take a seat. Last time, we discussed how to tell the beginning and the middle of a good story. Now for the best part, the end. At the beginning, we met our hero and discussed their goal. In the middle, we watched them try to achieve it. Now the end is the final test. Will they get what they want? First, the hero must confront his fears. This is usually a big event where all the characters come together and... Guys! Who is it? What is happening? Ah, there we go. Jeez. Yes, so the hero will face his enemies. I got a contract and a court order that says that that monkey is all mine. In my case, it was that evil dude, Stan. <laughs> Can you believe he wanted to sell me? I wasn't about to let that happen. I confronted that dude because he can't give up on his goal. <laughs> Now your hero can finally reach their goal. Yeesh, look at that monkey. He is a star. Sometimes, if they're lucky, the hero will find something they never expected to, like family. I think I could get used to this mushy stuff. And there you have it, kids. That is the art of storytelling. And now it's your turn to give it a try. And don't forget, you'll need a beginning, a middle, and an end. And a super awesome hero like yours truly. Thanks for joining me. I can't wait to hear your stories. Until then, when they call action, I go bananas.
Subscribe now to see all new videos of me and my friends.